My name is Linda Leukas. I'm a children's book author, illustrator and programmer and my job is to make the world of technology more colorful and exciting for the very small children uh, in the world. So first of all, I think children are the most efficient learners in the world. When you look at the kid between the age of two to the age of six, they grasp so much of the world. They understand very deep concepts and it's often our own prejudices and ideas that limit the abstract concepts that we try to teach to them. But in practice, what I do, I tell stories because stories in many ways are the way we human uh, learn about ourselves, we learn about each other and we learn about the world surrounding us. And there's very few stories that have been told about the world of technology, but coding or computer science, like any other complicated discipline like physics or math or, or biology, can be broken down into smaller concepts. And if you tell these concepts through stories and if you make them tangible, if you make them real so that the children can actually touch them with their fingers or even taste them, uh, then you make them understandable and you give the children agency to understand the technological world. The way I make teaching playful is by starting with the question why. I think engineers are often uh, kind of driven by the question how and I always focus on the question why is something uh, done and it often starts with a question a kid asks like uh, is the internet a place or um, what do I do when I grow up if all the robots take my jobs and then I I create activities around it and one of the most beloved activities I've ever done is this one where the children create a paper computer uh, so they make a computer out of paper and they learn about how the different hardware components work and then they create an app for it and it's all about giving these childhood memories sparking the imagination of the children in a world that is more and more run by technology. I hate the distinction between science and art, between poetry and math, between imagination and rigor. I think all artists have the same tendencies as scientists and scientists have the same curiosity as artists. And I think coding is one of the most profound and beautiful ways of exploring this because it is partly an engineering skill. It is about tinkering with something and making it work. It is partly a scientific uh, discipline and study. And there is also this sense of social uh, change, this sense of how coding changes the world. And most of all, it is about expressing yourself and solving problems and, and just looking at the world for a different pair of lenses.